Grass measurement has been around a long time on farms, but it is still a really underutilised technology, which is quite unusual when you think about the numerous benefits grass measuring can bring to your farm, such as increased grass utilisation, increasing the proportion of grass in your cow's diet, and with these overall driving on-farm profitability. Today, Sean McMahon will be showing us just how easy it is to carry out grass measuring on your dairy farm. Yeah, so we're here today in County Longford. Uh, Sean McMahon is my name. I'm a Walsh Scholar based in the Chagas Longford office. Yeah, well, it's important for a number of reasons. I suppose farmers need to measure or otherwise they can't manage. So I suppose some of the farmers, what we're hearing at farm level is that farmers are growing more grass, they're utilising more grass, and it's lowering, lowering the cost of production. There are a couple of different methods out there that farmers use to measure grass. Sean first took us through how to use the cut and weigh method. Yeah, so the cut and weigh method is, is pretty straightforward. Basically what the farmer will do is he will enter the paddock, he will throw the quadrant onto a representative sample of the paddock, he will then shake off any water or anything that's, that's, you know, at this time of year there's a, bit of, there's a bit of rain, so he'll shake off the water in that quadrant. What he'll then do is he'll cut it down to four centimetres, he'll gather up all the grass, he'll put it into a bag, he'll weigh that bag and he'll get the, weigh, the weight of that bag in grams. What he'll then do is he will find out his dry matter percentage, so during, during wet weather conditions like this, dry matter is around 13 or 14, possibly 15% in first rotation grass. So we've placed our quadrant down here, we're going to shake off the grass. And we're going to start cutting down to 4 centimetres. Five, yeah. So to get a measurement we go 175 grams, so 0 0.175 times 14% dry matter, 0.14 times 40,000 quadrants in a hectare is 980 kilograms of dry matter. There's 0 0.8 hectares in this paddock, so we times that by 0 0.8, that gives us a total grass available of 8, 784 kilograms of dry matter. Another popular method of measuring grass is using a plate meter. Sean explained how a farmer would use this method to measure grass on their farm. Yeah, so, so farmers that are using a plate meter, basically they can pick the number of drops they want to take on the farm, on the paddock. So say for example, if a farmer wants to take 20 drops, he'll go out, he'll drop the plate meter 20 times on the paddock. It will measure the height and it will calculate the average height on that paddock and then typically whenever a paddock is grazed out four centimetres, each centimetre above four centimetres is 250 kilos of dry matter. So if there's five centimetres in the paddock, five take away four is one, one centimetre equals 250 kilos of dry matter. Finally, Sean explained how a farmer would calculate their average farm cover and their cover per cow based on their grass measurements. And what the average farm cover is then, it's all them totals added up divided by the number of hectares on your farm and that'll give you your average farm cover. Yeah, so basically if, when, whenever you're calculating your cover per cow or cover per livestock unit, it's your average farm cover divided by your stocking rate that's grazing. Well, thanks to Sean for showing us just how easy it is to carry out grass measuring on your farm. As the saying goes, you can't manage what you don't measure. So have a think about adopting this technology on your farm and see the difference it could have to your farm's overall profitability.